Look at this, not a cloud in the sky, blue sky base of Dallas. Wood. Dallas Wood, 911. You got it. Anyways, how are you guys? How's it going? You can't see this, but I put my phone on the oven the other day and I melted it. Oh, I melted the case, so. It's got a nice little sparkly to it. Anyways, I haven't, we haven't had a dozer down here in a while. And uh, it was last year or two years ago. I think it's two years ago. And anyways, I posted a picture of this thing the other day. And I'm pretty sure it was my most liked photo of the year. I don't, I don't know, it's just a black bulldozer, like painted black. So I was like, you know what? Let's do a video on it because you guys want it. Everyone calls it the kill dozer. I don't know if you guys know what the kill dozer is, but Google it. You'll find out. Maybe I'll put a picture right here. But that thing was deadly. Anyways, this is a John Deere 550H. I have driven two styles of dozers before, John Deere's and Cat's. Um, the cat was super nice. It was brand new. It was a, a D6, I believe. So I've, uh, I've done D4, D5, and D6 down the track. They're all great dozers, but my favorite to do the motocross track is definitely a D6. This thing works fantastic though. Um, it's from CCX. They're just up the road. My buddy Scott, he had some clean fill to drop off. So he brought it here and said you can use my dozer. I said sure why not so I don't know what LGP stands for liquid gas propane yeah, sounds great. sure sure and <laughs> usually I'm pretty sure this is for like GPS but I don't know for what I'm using it for it just tells you if the if the uh, blade is straight so she's pretty handy unit she uh, pushes real nice Let's get up here, we'll start her up. Yeah, it's just basically painted black, tinted. It is nice, except for at night. At night, you can't really see anything. You gotta open open all the windows up here. Pop this open. We'll do a little, little cold start for you. Oh, turn the music off. I did, uh, I think we dropped off 10 loads yesterday and I pushed it mostly on the freestyle landing here. I didn't think they were dropping off this much more. So I'm actually gonna push this over there, make some more jumps over there. I brought the drone and a tripod. We'll do some time lapse for you. And uh, yeah, show you guys the kill dozer. <laughs> this thing is pretty sweet, even though it's like a normal dozer, but she just looks sick. All right, let's start.
have a decelerator so most machines have a throttle this has a decelerator so basically you just run at full blast all the time and then that's the decelerator so if you're coming up to someone it's basically like a brake and then yeah this is your blade hold on Let me turn that down so this is your blade tilt turn up down and this, this is forward and reverse So, yeah. Let me, let me make her move for you. There you go. Back, forward, right, left. Pretty standard procedure stuff. That's it. All right, let's get a time lapse going.
I'm glad I got most of it moved today. I think I'm gonna do the rest in the morning tomorrow, get everything kind of level, fix the driveway, and then turn this new jump. This used to be a little double-double section. So I'm probably just gonna turn into a big table or a table and a gap. Table and a double. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know a lot of people wanted to see me and kill the other. John Deere 558, so the thing is like, quite the sweet little machine. If you're building a track or if you want to build a track, this is the right one. And then you'll probably also need a skid steer as well to do the fine tuning. You can do fine tuning with this, it just takes a lot of time and it won't be, you know, as smooth as some people like it. So if you want me to build your track, let me know, I'll come build it too. Uh, anyways, thank you guys again. Make sure to subscribe, leave some comments. I answered all the comments. And have a fantastic day. We'll see you later.